I'm AJ. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to maintain a drum set. With me here, I have my bowl of water, I have my sweeping broom, I have my, my rags, mop and dry, and I also have my brush. So stay tuned as I walk you through. Thank you. Okay, now the drum set is covered right now. I personally buy this uh, drum cover personally for the drum set so you can see it's crusted it's crusted drum cover it's specially made for it so so that anybody will not just carry it and be cleaning in the church so if they see this crusted name on, on the on the cover the drum cover they will know that is for is for the drum set. So now I'm going to uncover it to start my drum cleaning proper. Now welcome back. The first thing you need to do as a as a drummer to clean your drum set is to sweep the surroundings of your drum set. If you don't have any to draw with you, you can pick meters. You can bend down and pick meters and pick meters around the drum set. If you bring it to you, you can, if you have a drum with you, you can sweep it, you can sweep the surroundings, you can sweep the surroundings, and see, you make it neat, you make it neat, So that is that is that for that for the sweeping. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. The next thing we are going to be doing after the sweeping of the surroundings, the drum surroundings, we will start cleaning the drum set. So I will I have my rags here and I have my brush here. I will wet one of the rags, then keep one for the dry. So I'm already wetting the drag the, the the one of the rags to wet it to mop the drum set. So I'm starting with my bass drum. I'm starting with my bass drum. So this I goes. This is a wet rag, so I'm using to clean the bass drum. I'm using to clean the bass drum. Mm -hmm. You can see that I'm playing bass drum. Then after the mopping of the bass drum, I will use the dry rag to dry it. Okay, so I'm done with the, the mopping. So I will now use the dry rag to dry immediately so that the wet, the water will not dry on the metal. On the net on the hind, so you, you have to use your dry rag. You have to use your dry rag to clean to dry the base drum. Very very important. We use to dry the base drum. Now I only use the wet rag on the base drum only because it has more dirt than other instruments here. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to clean the thumbs. Very, very important. Clean this thumb. So I'm going to be using the brush and the rag. This brush is for is for when, um, when anywhere the the rag cannot pass through, the broom, the the brush will be able to you know clean that. We need to do that. That is the reason why I have my brush with me. So let's start. Thank you. So I'm ready. I'm already cleaning the thumbs. Very very important. I'm waiting. You can see this place. This place. 
the and the rag cannot pass through, but the brush can pass through. So you use your brush to clean, you know, to brush that side. Hmm? Especially the knot in between the knot and the rims. You, know? you have to anywhere that the rag cannot enter. You have to you know, make sure that you know, it's use your rag to clean it. Okay. in between here in between the knot the knot cover so let me clean my snare clean my snare hold on my snare snare drum see that okay so the next thing I'm going to be cleaning is the drum heads the drum heads all of them so this is the drum head this is the drum head I'm already cleaning the drum heads you see or not I thought to be clean on the drum heads you know very 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 important so you have to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to be cleaning is you know cymbal plate. You can see the cymbal plate, you know, cymbal plate and the and the hi hats. And so I'm starting with the hi hats. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Clean inside. You open the hi hats plate. You clean the top first. Clean the top of the of the hi both inside and outside. You clean. It. You stand. You keep this one like this. And you gently keep, keep it. You gently keep it. And uh, the other one, the bottom plate, you clean both inside to make it clean. Then yeah, you know this. Then you, you turn back plates. That is a crash symbol. So I'm going to the right symbol now. Then the right symbol, you can see that. You can see that I'm going the right symbol. Next thing I'm going to be cleaning now is the um, stands, you know, the higher stands. This is the higher stands. I'm going to be starting with the iat, you know, starting with the iat, higher stands, higher stands. Starting with the iat, so you can see I'm cleaning them. Okay. 
find it dead. And then. So they're very careful. See? Then they come here. This is symbol stand. The symbol stand. Be careful with the cleaning them. And the other side with the thumbs or the st um, thumb stands. You know. We clean them. You can see. It's the net. You know. So we try and clean everything on the drums. Clean them properly. This is a dry rag I'm using to clean the metal. It's a dry rag. I'm using to clean the metals. That's where the stands, it's where the cymbal stand. You can see the cymbal, the cymbal stand. Don't forget that I'm using the dry, using the dry rag to clean, to mop. No. No. To maintain the cymbal stand. Well, what next now is uh, what next now is to clean the cymbals. Hmm? Clean the cymbals. I know. Clean the cymbals. This is the snare stand. Don't don't forget about that. Need to clean it. Snare stand. Hmm? Just, just have to, not to, you know. Mm -hmm. So now, the, 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 that is the stage light, you know, you just have to clean everything. Mm -hmm. To be neat, you have to clean everything around the drums. Hmm? Stage light, second stage light. And make it neat. Second stage light, maybe you need to know. Yeah. So, 